Hello everyone, I'm again in the Alps, this time again in Austria, but in the so-called Kleinwalzertal. And yeah, I'm now three or four kilometers into the hike and I'm very sweaty because today the sun is out. It's at least 30 degrees and till here, till, till I found this tree, there was nearly no shade. So it's really strenuous and yeah, I have to get up there somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, quite a bit of hiking to do, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it because I've scattered some nice viewpoints up there with yeah, Google Earth and yeah, some information I found on the internet. Also, the sun should be in the right direction. The weather is nice. So yeah, hopefully going to get some nice photos. And yeah, now going to have to get going again. So see you up there. So I'm nearly up at the sunset location and I have to say, although from elevation gain it wasn't much more than the last tour I did, it felt as twice as much work because the sun was really burning, there was no shade and yeah, I'm, I'm really spent now. But good thing is, um, while I walked up here, I already found a nice spot where I can photograph sunrise tomorrow morning. The bad news is I have to get up here once more. So down there you see the hut and yeah there are some snow fields to cross which is a little tricky but not too bad because I have some poles with me so yeah it's quite easy the the snow is quite good to walk on and yeah I think I'm gonna get up here tomorrow again to photograph down into the valley I don't show it yet because I don't want to scramble there again I, I just went there with, a, with my cell phone, did some scouting shots. But yeah, now I have to go up there somewhere. <laughs> Not yet sure where exactly I want to take the photo, but there should, there should be some nice rocks to find for foreground, I think. And yeah, I'm gonna have this mountain in the photo and then the valley in this direction. When the sun goes down, this should look nice. I even have some clouds today, so yeah, everything looks quite nice but as I said I'm quite spent and now I think it's like two hours till sunset and I'm gonna get up there quickly and then just sit there relax and yeah regain a little bit of my strength <laughs> but yeah look at this again what a wonderful view here so I finally made it up to my photo spot for the evening and yeah it was quite a slog as the last time but this time as I said, because of the sun, it was very hard getting up here. I lost a lot of water and I drank a lot of water to stay hydrated. But yeah, now it's just great up here. I mean, look at this. <laughs> That's the view for the evening. And yeah, it wasn't so easy to find a good spot to set up the camera though. So it was all about foreground interest and finding something which could mimic the background. And yeah, I took my time at least half an hour walking along the ridge here and yeah finally I found something so I have some rock here in the foreground I'm not sure if you can see it you'll see it in the final photo so this rock has a similar shape in the photo as the mountain in the background and yeah that's always good if you're looking for foregrounds um, it's good to look for some repetition so if you find something which mimics something in the background then that's always good it creates some uh, visual harmony in the photo. Yeah, and I think I found it. So I'm gonna see what it looks like when the light changes. Currently, I still have to wait because now the light is quite harsh. So you see, I have all those bright snow fields on the left side, I hope you see it. And here on the right side, it's all in shade and quite dark. So yeah, it's not ideal. So I use bracketing, I use filters, but I'm not sure how this will turn out. But it will certainly look much better when the sun sets later. And yeah, hopefully I get some nice glow in the sky. And this glow will then reflect all on those yeah, snow fields, on the gravel. And yeah, the composition will then feel much more even. So much more balanced when the light is softer. 
yeah, but now I just sit here, wait, <laughs> relax a bit. Um, yeah, can really use some, some time. And yeah, hopefully the photo will turn out nice and I have something to show you soon. The photo I show you here is not the one I came to photograph. I took it the next morning after another attempt to photograph the wider view about which I was talking in the video. This photo here was an unexpected catch. When I was packing up my camera half an hour after sunrise, I noticed this beautiful play of light over the distant mountains and quickly switched to my telelens to capture my favorite photo of the trip. But this video wouldn't be complete without showing you the other photos I got and discussing some of the issues I have with them. So here we are in Lightroom and I've made a selection of all the different compositions I tried this evening and the next morning in the apps. And this photo here, the first one, I basically took it directly after recording the little video where I explained how I was looking for foreground interest. And here I can show you what I was talking about actually. So I was looking for something to mimic the background. So here you have this diagonal shape from the mountain and I found something similar here for the foreground. Those rocks here, they have a similar diagonal shape and this creates this visual harmony I was talking about. Then also the framing, I have a diagonal leading down here, some kind of diagonal down here. So it's like a W shape down here. Uh, all in all, I like the composition and the framing here. The only problem I had, so the clouds, which you saw during the day, they vanished. So only some clouds here on the right side, they yeah, stuck around. And if we look a little later, the light got really nice and this photo I'm not really sure about because although the, down here the light is nice, the composition, I like it, but the clouds to this side, they disturb the balance in the image. So I don't have any clouds on this side. Yeah, with some nice clouds and a distribution of clouds, this photo would have been really nice. I think uh, it could have become one of my favorites, but as it is, I'm kind of the edge about if I should put it in my portfolio, if I should put in the work. So I have to process it and currently it's not really a favorite of mine. <laughs> and for the portfolio, I usually only choose the best photos. So since it didn't work out the evening, I decided the next morning to skip the location I had scouted. So about which I was talking in the video and go up here again and see what I'd get. Unfortunately though, there were no clouds at all. And also the landscape, it feels a little more flat. So with a side light, the blue hour, the light looks nice, but for me, this image now misses a bit of dimension. So I'm not so sure about it. Now we have a little later with the light coming in from the side and yeah, there was really a nice light show on the right of the frame, but yeah, nothing I could photograph. So the light looks quite nice, but it's also not ideal. And later as the sun came up and the mountain got some light, I realized that the foreground would take at least half an hour longer until there would be some light. So I quickly changed the composition to another one I'd scouted the evening before. And here I have some light in the foreground, some light in the mountains and even some clouds coming in. But again, it's not ideal. I packed up and wanted to head down the mountain again, but then this happened. So I quickly switched to the long lens and yeah, took a couple of photos. So this was the first frame. I zoomed in quite a bit, but yeah, I didn't like this centered composition. And I went out a bit, still leaving this mountain in the center. And yeah, here on this side, you see there's not much. It's a lot of negative space. So I went a little to the left and yes, yeah, suddenly got the photo I wanted. So I have a nice harmony, I think, with those edgy rocks. 
um, the tones here they balance each other I have this a little to the to the right of the middle so all in all this is a photo which I liked and which I already showed you this is the one I processed and this is also the one which goes to my portfolio afterwards I went down to the hut and I took a few more photos so this one was an attempt to capture this meadow here but the light was already too harsh but I noticed some nice layering here in the distance so again I switched to the long lens and captured this photo which is not bad but it's also not as good as the other one so I'm not sure if I'll process this but yeah you see um, from the photos I usually show you at the end of those videos I usually take much more and this here again is also just a selection so I want to be completely transparent in this video let's see I took at least 250 photos and yeah that's quite usual once I found a composition so this is the process of uh, looking for the composition so you see I'm walking around with the camera without using a tripod and just getting some photos looking for the foreground and this is the one which I also used the next morning then I noticed this one here do another attempt and yeah here I then get closer and from there I just leave the camera in place and sit back relax take a lot of photos and yeah wait for the right light and also for some clouds which didn't come and the next morning it's similar again I settle on a composition let just wait okay so I hope you found this little behind the scenes here behind the scenes of what photos I take interesting and yeah let me know if you if I should continue to show you all or more of the photos in my other vlogs also and not only the best ones you get a better idea of how the process really is in the field yeah and if you like this video make sure to leave a thumbs up and yeah subscribe for more